Well, there's been a lot of controversy about the way that this overspeed switch operates on the Onins, okay? Some say that once you achieve a speed greater than what you should uh, have, uh, which is 1800 RPMs, which these things operate at, so I would probably say maybe about 2200 RPMs or whatever, uh, this little lever here will make contact with this little stud and uh, ground out the generator, causing the uh, system to shut down. Okay, safety mechanism. All right, and also that it should rebound back. Okay. So then, once you hit the reset button up here, which is this guy, uh, you're back in business. Great. You don't have to go in and manually uh, reset the little lever, which could be a pain in the neck because you have to pull that cover off. All right, great. Others say, no. You're supposed to operate this in a way where once this lever makes contact with the stud and grounds out, it should stay. Requiring the operator then to not only hit the reset button, but also pull off the end cover and manually push it back. But how do you make it stay? Very simple. If I just adjust this little thing a little bit more, okay, and I pull this thing out, there you go, bingo. While the uh, generator is rotating, uh, you know, the centrifugal force is going to keep it out, but once it stops, it's going to rest against here. Now, there's really no magnet in this little lever, okay? The magnet is this little thing right here. Let me see if I get my screwdriver here. Yep. This is the magnet. Okay, let's see if I can get it to stay. All right. There we go. That's your magnet. This is not your magnet. It may get a little magnetized, but your magnet is this thing here. Again, I'm going to leave my screwdriver here. There we go. Bingo. That's your magnet. I'm going to hold it up to here. Okay, I'm going to let go of the screwdriver. Bingo. Nope, that's not your magnet. Okay, so anyway, it could be adjusted two ways. One will remain open when the uh, generator comes to stop, or another way to go back and reset itself and rebound back. There you go. Very simple. Now as far as adjusting this uh, mechanism so that it would extend out from centrifugal force based on the RPMs, it'll be this little adjustment screw right here, or bolt. The more, I guess, you extend it outwards, the lower RPM and centrifugal force would cause this thing to come out. If I recess this uh, bolt in, it's going to take a higher RPM in order to make this lever come out when the thing is spinning. Uh, so anyway, that's really about it. Again, once uh, this lever comes out, it's going to uh, cause this wire to see ground. And it's going to, uh, I said I think I short out the uh, generator. It's not really shorting out the generator. It's just going to ground out a circuit and shut down the, uh, the system. It's a safety mechanism. So anyway, uh, again, I know there's a lot of controversy about this. And uh, I'm not sure exactly uh, what people have read and where, but this is how I see it to operate. For me, I'm going to adjust this uh, thing right here so that if I do overspeed, once the generator comes to a stop, this will reset. I don't have to remove the bell end cover. All I'll have to do is hit this reset button in here. There's actually a coil behind this uh, switch right here, and it will cause the thing to pop out. The red light goes on and uh, you will not be able to restart this generator and make it run until you manually press this button. So that's how I see this thing to work. All right, thank you.